Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly from realillusionforum.com. Um, anyway, I thought I would show you something real quick. I've been I've been converting a lot of my dads here to the new Real Illusion system. And one thing I noticed, I hadn't I kind of gotten lazy over the years and hadn't put a lot of physics maps on the hairs. So now I've gone through, and since I have you know several hundred of these hairs, I've been I've been doing a lot of them. So I want to show you a, a trick that I that I found that I should have known that you probably already know, but it never hurts to see. So here's here's this hair, and there's only just first of all, well I won't get into that. We'll we'll talk about that later in another video. But but there's just one texture. It's hair. There's a scalp. You don't need a physics map on there, and then there's a hair. And you'll notice this is a pretty simple map. Usually most of the time you don't need complicated maps. When you need complicated maps, uh, generally you can't get the hair looking right. We can talk about that in other videos. But what I want to show you today is, look how dim this gradient is. This gradient is actually pretty dim. See, it's not very bright. There's not a white down here. Uh, and we've talked about maybe lowering the brightness a little bit. But I want to show you something when we just use this dim gradient here. We have the dim gradient. You notice, did you see some hair fell off there? So she, she lost some hair. I'm older, but I don't actually lose hair. I have all my hair, but but see, see, see that some of the pieces of hair are falling off. There's another thing is watch the hairstyle. See this hairstyle here? Watch how it how it drapes. See it drapes down. You generally don't want that. What you want in a physics map is when when women do their hair, and I'm no expert on women's hair, but when women do their hair, what they do is they put enough um, product in it to kind of hold it a certain texture. Now you don't want it to look like a statue, so you want it to have some movement. But you also want to have enough of it so it still holds the hairstyle. So what we do is we look at this at this gradient. We we're actually going to turn it down pretty dim, not completely black. You can't do that because if you turn it down, it won't obviously it won't have any textures. But if we if we turn it down pretty much, you can see now that it'll still move as it if it should be real hair. You can see a little movement around here, but it's still it's also styled as if it's really still holding its style. See, there's, there's some hairs moving there. So that's kind of what you want on your physics map when you're using a hairstyle that isn't the flyaway style. You want your weight maps to be pretty dark. Uh, and I could say this is a dark gradient. Now you can experiment a little bit. You can move it up a little bit more maybe and try it from there and see. But uh, the nice thing is you can experiment here and you can look at it in real time and see. See that lost a little bit more of its shape, but it gives it a little more bounce. So you can see there's there's more bounce to it, but there's... But there's uh, just a little less product on it. So you can play around with that and see see what you like. But but that looks very natural as a hairstyle. So that's my tip of the day. The tip of the day is that as a rule, you want a pretty dark gradient on a hairstyle that you want to hold the basic shape on, but still have some hair movement. So hopefully that helps, guys. And as always, as I say to you, if you have any Daz product whatsoever that you're having trouble in iClone with, uh, or character creator, just holler at me, tell me specifically what product it is, and I'd be glad to help you. Talk to you on the forums.